Hello everybody, Thomas here. Welcome to Sweaty Old Guy Still Can't Get His Damn Clutch Fixed. It's a working title for my channel. It's kind of specific. I'll have to come up with something else. Anyway, uh, today I am going to put a new clutch slave cylinder on, on the old Datsun. And hopefully I can adjust, get the clutch pedal adjusted right. What's happening right now is the, and I'll show you after I get the other one off, um, the slave cylinder that's on there is longer than this one, but I still have this same adjusting rod, but the rod doesn't adjust far enough back to compensate for the longer slave cylinder. So what that does is it keeps the clutch plates a little bit farther out, and so when I'm working the clutch, they release almost immediately when I hit the clutch pedal, and as the car warms up a little bit, as the, the uh, fluid warms up, the clutch ends up slipping, which is not a good thing. Uh, so I went and did a little more research and found the one that I ordered was more generic. And uh, so it's not the right one. So we're going to put the right one on today. Uh, I'm probably not going to film the actual how I'm doing it. It's a super simple thing. It's like two bolts, um, two bolts here and here. And then you take the hydraulic fluid line off. Actually, it's brake fluid. And uh, swap it out, bleed the lines, and you're done. Uh, so this isn't going to be a uh, how-to kind of a video. It's just going to be, let's see if the old guy can get his shit together. So, and just for the hell of it, we'll go ahead and do a cold start. I cannot remember. The last time I started this girl. It's been a couple weeks. Let's see. I think it's about 80 degrees outside, a little bit humid. Got the choke on. It's running great ever since I took her to EG. Super happy. Alright, let's see. We got oil pressure coming up. Cold. I believe I have the fuel gauge fixed. Apparently it's quarter after one. That sounds about right. All right. Well, that was exciting. All right, maybe not so much. But, she starts nice. Two bolts. And a line. And here's the bleeder valve. And just take those off, and we're good. Okay, so here you can see... This was the original from the car. It was all rusted and didn't work, but... You can see how far down... That goes... This far down... The adjustment rod. And... This one you can see is just taller, and it goes that far down. So where my fingers are now should actually be all the way down in here. So I could not adjust the adjustment rod short enough because this just added, what was that, a good solid half inch or more to it at least, probably almost a full inch. So, correct original broken slave cylinder, incorrect replacement slave cylinder, correct replacement slave cylinder mounted on the car. Time for a test drive. Success! Finally. Okay, so, it was certainly the uh, incorrect size slave cylinder that I had in the first place. Uh, when I replaced the correct one in there, I just had to do some actual adjusting um, using the little adjusting rod. I didn't like this one that came with the replacement slave cylinder, so I just used the original. It was fine. This one I felt had less adjustment travel. Uh, so when I put the, uh, the other one on, I just adjusted a little bit. Now the clutch lets out in a beautiful spot. No more slipping, so we are back on the road. Uh, so happy days. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed and I will I'll see you later